There are 54 islands in the British Indian Ocean Territory Marine Protected Area, covering roughly 24 square kilometers. Although this is a tiny part of this 640,000 square kilometer marine reserve, the islands are a very important part of the environment here. They are all atoll islands, small strips of land on a ring of coral reef around a central lagoon. Some of them are incredibly small, with barely enough room for a coconut palm. On the ocean side, the coral reef breaks the force of the large waves with a shelving reef crest made of coralline algae, a film of algae that glues itself in place with limestone. This wave break protects the islands from being washed away. On the reef flat behind the breaking waves, parrot and surgeon fish feed on the algae at high tide, while in the lagoon, lush coral gardens grow protected from the damage of storms and currents by the sheltering islands. The shore and shallows are an important nursery area for certain species. Juvenile fish congregate in the shallows, with small shark cruising amongst them, and turtle graze on the algae. Between the corals and rocks, stingray glide. They eat many of the smaller creatures that bury themselves in the drifting sand. On the rocky shores, juvenile fish find a haven in the rock pools, and some find a meal, like this moray eel. While on the long sand beaches, ghost crabs make their home. At the top of the beach and rocks, plants like scavola and coconut palms hold the soil together with their tangled branches and fibrous roots, protecting the land from erosion by the waves that do make it over the reef crest. This is vitally important as atoll islands are very flat, not rising more than a couple of meters above sea level. Seabirds roost in these plants which also provide food for hermit crabs and insects. And behind these shoreline plants, hardwood forests can grow and grasslands develop. Large hardwood trees like Personia offer great nesting habitat for seabird colonies. Unspoiled coastal nesting habitat like this is extremely rare around the Indian Ocean, so these islands are very important for the birds. Falling leaves and bird droppings create a thin layer of rich soil which supports gardens of other plant life. This is home for the healthiest populations of the world's largest terrestrial arthropod, the coconut crab. Without any reptiles or mammals here, the crabs rule. In between the glades of trees, hardy grasses and creepers cover the rocky ground. Insects and spiders make their home in these small island gardens. Looking after these islands actually helps out the marine environment too. Seabirds feed at sea and return to the islands to roost. Their feces is washed into the soil and eventually filters into the water, circulating fresh nutrients to the reef and sea. The small islands of the Chagos Archipelago, an integral part of the British Indian Ocean Territory Marine Protected Area.